certain colleges, let's go down the list here, ha- these colleges have produced the most billionaire alumni. Okay? Wow. So if you're looking for a college and you're saying, oh, where should I go to college? Maybe you start with which colleges produces the billionaires. Yeah. Good luck getting into that. Good luck getting into those. <laughs> Good luck getting in. Shoot for the stars, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, some of them are the ones you would suspect on this list, and some... Maybe not as much. Shoot for the stars and you'll land amongst community college. (laughs) (laughs) Shoot for the stars and you'll land amongst community college. Well played. So, David, uh, take a guess what is number one. Harvard. Harvard. (laughs) It is. (laughs) Is All right. uh, In Cambridge, Massachusetts, they have. So this list is based on how many billionaires, not so much the amount that these billionaires are worth. But we're going to give you those fun facts as well. And then hopefully you'll understand. Okay, a little bit more about the colleges, learn some stuff, and I'll give you some takeaways at the end. So number one is Harvard with 29 billionaires who have graduated from college. These, 29 billionaires. Exactly. So these, this list is all who have graduated. So there'll be a fun fact here as well. So alumni include Steve Ballmer. He was uh, one of the, the CEO of Microsoft at one point. He was Bill Gates' replacement for many. Now he owns the... Los Angeles Clippers, they can't get over the hump, but he's mm-hmm. there going crazy. You got the Winklevoss twins, famous for, you know, getting Facebook stolen from them by Mark Zuckerberg in Harvard, right? So they've since, since gone on to become crypto billionaires, of course they um, and they've created Gemini. So I've actually had the opportunity to have dinner with those guys, drinks with those guys at the Miami Soho House. Those guys are actually pretty cool. Don't be shocked. If you see them here on Value Tainment, that's just a little heads up. Wow. We'll see. Um, a little tease. Yeah, a little tease right there. And then you have Lloyd Blankfein. He's the former Goldman Sachs CEO. Goldman Sachs, arguably the best investment bank in the world. Um, and then on top of that, they're not they're they're number one, and they don't even have two of the top five richest people in the world on the list. And that's Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. Combined for two hundred and fifty billion dollars worth of net worth, so com- so Harvard's total net worth of billionaires, minus those two, is two hundred and seven billion. If you add those two, they're approaching four hundred and fifty-seven billion, almost five hundred billion dollars. That's Harvard. Okay, I'm a Harvard man. I'm so, from Harvard, darling. Exactly. That's Cambridge. Now, number two, if I give you a list, uh, if I give you ten guesses, I don't know if you would guess number two. I really don't. It's uh, not a bad school. I mean, it's a fantastic school. FIU. FIU, Florida International, down here. FAU here in Boca. That's not it. Um, the answer is it's University of Pennsylvania. Well, never in would've. Philly. Yeah, never right. You would probably said that. Yale, Harvard, Stanford. Yeah, honestly, another Ivy League. Pennsylvania. And you'll see the reason why. They, they have the second most number of billionaires, 28. And their total net worth, which is one of the largest on this list, is $285 billion. Huh. And famous alumni include former President Donald Trump and current richest man on the planet, Elon Musk. Elon about Musk that? and Donald Trump went to college together. Not together. They went There's to about college. 20. They were roommates. College. They were <laughs> roommates. That's crazy. 20 years difference. Now, of this 285 Fake billion, news. of the, exactly, of this 285 billion, Elon probably has 95% of that. <laughs> Donald Trump probably has a couple billion. But that's number two on the list. And the famous business school that uh, people attend at Penn is Wharton. Mm. Wharton. Are you familiar with Wharton? Wharton. I went to Wharton. I went to Wharton and I got a business degree and now I'm worth a billion dollars. Congratulations. Now I have student loans. Number three on this list, and thank you for for joining along with us right now. Number three is none other than Stanford in California, Northern California. Billionaires, 28, same as, as Penn. However, they have... $150 $150 billion less. So that's why they're third on this list. Total net worth is $125 billion. Famous alum- alumni include co-founders of Robinhood, oh. big talk of the town. That's Vlad Tenev and Baiju Bhatt. They both graduated from Stanford. Um, a lot in the news these days, Robinhood. I'm sure we have a lot of uh, fans or friends or followers, a lot of Fs right there, that um, use Robinhood. And then, in addition to that, there's the co-founder of Yahoo. His name is Jerry Yang. These guys all went to Stanford. Numero cuatro, number four for our Spanish speakers out there, is Yale. Yale University, number four. David, 
For ten billion dollars, what state is Yale located in? Uh, Connecticut. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well played, David. Woo! Well played, David. He had the answers to the test all along. All along. Did you know that or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yale has 21 billionaires, and they have a total net worth of $140 billion. The alumni include uh, Mars, the heirs to the Mars candy fortune, the Mars wow. family, right? So we're talking about Mars bars, and I'm sure they own like all the candy in the world, whatever they yeah. own. They just probably, their net worth just increased substantially after Halloween. Uh, you have Joe Tsai. He is the uh, co-founder of Alibaba. And then he's also the current owner of the Brooklyn Nets. He went he's, to Yale? He's a Yale grad, yes. Huh. Huh. Didn't know that. And then in addition to that, you have a guy called Stephen Schwartzman, which I would like to call Steve, Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve. Uh, he's the CEO of Blackstone, which is basically the biggest investment firm in the, in the globe right now. So Blackstone. So that is Yale. Number five, this is coming out of left field. Technically, actually, it's coming out of... East Asia is Mumbai University in India. You didn't see that one oh, coming, did you? No. No, God. they're number five. They've produced 20 billionaires. My so nationalism India. came out. Yeah. I only thought it'd be state. You thought it was all just America. Oh, yeah. India taking over. We're so worried about China. Look at India. <laughs> Look at India producing billionaires. Uh, they have their, fa their most famous alumni is a man called Mukesh Ambani, one of the top richest men in the world, certainly the richest man in India. India, and quite possibly the richest man in all of Asia. Uh, his company is called Reliance. They're a conglomerate, tele telecommunications, oil manufacturing. I don't know what they don't do. But number five is Mumbai University of India. We are oh, now yeah. at the top five on the list. Let's rattle down the last five, and let's get to the point here. Number six is Cornell. My business partner at my financial firm went to Cornell. He loves talking about how he went to Cornell. I say, you know how... You know that Mark, my, my business partner, Mark, yeah. you know how we know that Mark went to Cornell? Because he'll just full on come out and tell you, I went to Cornell and that's, this is why you should listen to me. That's like Andy okay, cool. from The Office. That's the whole uh, thing. What do you say? That's, it, oh, that's it, his thing? Yeah, he just constantly reminds you that he's from, we went to Cornell University. Okay, so there's a theme here. Yeah, that's so funny. Uh, I thought it was just. Because Corn like, Cornell isn't on the level of Harvard or Whoa. Yale. Well, yeah, there I went. That's him. Um, <laughs> isn't on the level of these universities, but they produce billionaires, so they feel the need to just remind you that they also are a uh, Ivy League school. So Cornell University is in Ithaca, New York, upstate New York. They've produced 18 billionaires, not bad, and they have a total net worth of only $65 billion. Oh, well, the rest of these guys have over $100 billion. Get it together, get Cornell. It together, Cornell. Famous alumni, uh, alumni include Robert F. Smith. Uh, private He's a private equity guy. I, 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 he might be, if not the richest, one of the richest African-American men in America. Robert F. Smith. He's had some hot water these days, tax evasion stuff. I don't know what's going on. And then the newest person on the entire billionaire list of these universities is a guy called Robert Langer. And you recognize that name? No, I don't. Either do I. And e either is probably most of America, but this is why we're going to pay attention to his name. He's a scientist with 3% stake in a company called Moderna. Oh. Oh. I believe you <clears throat> might have been familiar with the Moderna shot these days. Uh, more familiar with the other one, the good one, the Pfizer. The Pfizer, okay. <laughs> but I, mean... <laughs> um, I know you have strong feelings on this. But basically, he became a billionaire this year because he was uh, one of the main scientists mm. at Cornell University in Spanish Harlem, New York. You ever been there? Uh, no, I haven't been to New York. Actually, I'm going for the first time. Why do, uh, I asked you about New York. You used the British accent. Because I that? thought you did one, so I just copied. I said I you've make... been to New York. Oh, is that? Oh, is that a New York accent? Oh, okay. Maybe not anymore. <laughs> hey, have you uh, been to New York? You've been to New York. <laughs> All right, so that's number six. Number seven um, is none other than UCLA. Oh. You didn't expect that. Los Angeles, California, University of California, Los Angeles. I'm not surprised, though. Really? I don't think well, wait till you hear who's on this list. Okay. 15 billionaires worth 58 billion. Famous alumni include George Lucas, the creator of yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, I actually knew that. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. Another guy who actually I think is a great CEO. His name is Mark Benioff. He's the uh, CEO founder of Salesforce. Salesforce mm -hmm. now has merged with Slack. Slack that we're using here. Boom. You can thank UCLA for that. Thank you, UCLA. 
technically he didn't start um, slack, but anyway, you, you, you get you the point. To think him. Yeah, exactly. Well, just keep it. <laughs> Stay on your toes, buddy. You never know. Number eight. Number eight on this list is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, commonly known as uh, MIT. You know how far Harvard is from MIT? They're both in Massachusetts. Right. How, you know? Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. How far do you think? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say 10 miles. They are five minutes away wow. from each other. Like, you could walk from Harvard to MIT. I didn't know that. They're also in Cambridge. So mm. that concentration of Boston, I got to tell you, one of my best friends, we're going to talk about him today, huge in the crypto game, huge in the crypto game. We're going to talk about how I got into crypto, how I got into Bitcoin, some advice for you guys out there. He went to a little school called Tufts. I'm like, oh, you think you're a Tufts guy? <laughs> That's like my thing with him. But it's also there in the Boston area. And it's a great, great school. Like Ivy League, maybe a little below it. But the schools in Boston are insane. So MIT, 14 billionaires with a total net worth of $104 billion. Famous alumni are the Koch brothers. You ever heard of the Koch brothers? They own Koch Industries, the one of the private, the the wealthiest private um, companies in the country. Ridiculous. I thought you were trying to get me to narc for a second, but no, I have not no, heard of K -O -C -H, them. No, K-O-C-H, the Koch brothers. Gotcha. And then more of more recent fame is the founder of FTX, the crypto platform. His name is Sam Bankman Freed, otherwise known as SBF. You ever seen this dude? No. Dude. I grew up in Miami. I go to Heat games. I have friends in the Heat. All that, all that, all that. My American Airlines Arena. He just came in, crypto billionaire status, renamed the entire Miami Heat American Airlines Arena to the FTX Arena. That's oh, his that's crypto his, fund. That's this guy? Ridiculous. You heard about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Why I oughta? Yeah, why I oughta? Exactly. I don't know. But this guy's a super genius right here. Um, that's uh, MIT for you. All right. Super geniuses over here. Uh, number nine on this list is Columbia University in New York. Did I say Spanish Harlem in, in, uh, for Cornell? No, that's upstate New York. Yeah. Columbia is what's in Spanish Harlem, a little further north uh, New York style. My, one of my best friends who's a dentist went there. Our uh, um, Robert HR went to Columbia. Is that where he went? Yeah. Robert HR. Does a guy have a last name around here? Just Robert HR. Robert HR. They produced uh, 11 billionaires with a total net worth of $41 billion, and their most famous alumni is the most winningest sports owner in the NFL, in the NFL, and that would be Bob Kraft of the Patriots. Oh. All I do is win, 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 win no matter what, what, except for when Tom Brady goes to the Buccaneers. <laughs> now it's no matter what. So that's Bob Kraft. And number 10 on this list actually um, is Princeton University. Fun fact right here, Princeton is in New Jersey. Okay. okay. 11 billionaires, but they have the most – amount of net worth on this list. So they have the least amount of billionaires, but they have the largest net worth on this list. And why do you think that is, why David? Is that? I don't know. Because not only did Jeff Bezos go there, his wife or ex-wife Mackenzie Bezos went there as well, and they have a collective net worth of however many hundred billion dollars, and that's why Princeton University has a full-on net worth of 288 Billion dollars. They shouldn't account his uh, Jeff Bezos' wife's money in there because that's Jay Be Jay <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Don't money. open up that can of worms, buddy. She earned it. They're, they cheated their way onto that list. And then uh, a little uh, little bonus round for you, number eleven, because they were actually the same amount of billionaires as Princeton. And we'll just give them a little <laughs> shout out. Uh, it's Cal Berkeley uh, up there in uh, Berkeley land of California. Eleven billionaires, eighty-two billion famous alumni. Masayoshi, son of SoftBank, Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Intel, and if you like the DoorDash, there's the co-founder, Tony Yu of DoorDash. So anyway, those are the top schools that produce the top billionaires all across the country. David, here's the takeaway that I'm taking. Give it to me. Here's the takeaway. Now, we talked about this before. We talked about making sure you pick the right major for the right ROI. Right. When picking the college, maybe you find out. Does it produce rich people? All we talk is money. All we talk is money. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode or just stay broke.